What the f***? Oh no, it's not that, is it? It goes... Clap. Clap. Right, that wasn't... That's too many claps. Right. The third word you said was... What? The third word you said was... Yeah. It's just our f***ing roll, baby. Welcome back to the master and the noob and the... Are you a master or a noob, by the way? Choose. Uh, noob. Master and the noob and the noob. Nice. Long time noob. Long time noob. So yeah. how long have you been doing it for, like? Uh, nine years. First of all, what's your name, by the way? Uh, Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> weird time to ask that, isn't it? Shit name or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, weird time to find out what your name is. I'm thanks, by the way. This is Sophie, um, aka the noob. This is noob. Jamie, aka... What's your second name? Watson. What's Watson. Tell, tell the people there the, uh, in the camera there. Jamie oh, Watson. The What's your like Instagram and all that? Uh, Jamie Watson underscore art. Right, we'll put that underneath so for the people who can't understand your accent. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from, Jamie? Uh, North Allerton. North Allerton. Yeah. Where's that near though? Is that near Catrick? It's not far from Catrick. Yeah, it's, it? yeah, it's near Catrick. How I was, far? I was born, like, I was raised in Catrick. Okay, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's where I first started tattooing in Catrick. Yeah, I've heard. Okay, have you? Well, yeah. Tell me what you've heard. I've heard you've got a. Tell me the stories that you've heard about me. I've heard you've got And then you can tell us about your mushroom carry. Okay, yeah, nice. <laughs> I heard you got a shit tattoo and uh, you said I could do better. Okay. And then you did it. I did see it on your Instagram stories. So. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Hmm, I thought you'd heard of it, like, through the grapevine. Oh, no, 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 I saw it. It came from the horse's mouth. <laughs> oh, right, okay, yeah. yeah. Well, it's true, then. Yeah, Far there you it, go. It's true, because everything I say is true. I don't need to hold that. Apart from that. Well, you don't have to hold it, you know. Just, you know, just remember to talk into it. If you want to lean back, though, can you can chill? come with it. Yeah, you can chill, yeah, of course yeah, you can. Nice. Who's done this tattoo for me on your arm? Uh, Jordan Croke. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. cool. Can we take? remember to take a photo of that? Or have you got your phone now? Do you want to take a photo right now? Might as well, in it? Because we are shit at this. Yeah. Do you want to take a Yeah, go on. I've got two. I've got, uh, oh, wow. Ozzy Osbourne in there as well. I've, I've seen them before, I think. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put like a camera effect on there as I take them. Turn around. Uh, I'm just going to take a photo. Oh, one. okay. Jordan, who? Sorry, Croak. 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 I've definitely, I've, I'm sure I've talked to him before at conventions. But yeah, like, he's nice. Right. I'm sure I remember people. Oh, no, yeah, I remember. I've got a, I think I've got two prints of him, actually, in the studio. Yeah, he's, he's mad into, like, Star Wars. Right, okay. Yeah, Have I got prints of him? I'm not sure. I might do. Who knows? Mm. Who knows? Are you gonna t- do you want to tell the people about your mushroom curry, or would you rather not talk about that kind no, of thing? No, I'm, I'm quite Because <laughs> we can talk about, it's supposed to be about tattoos, right? But I think yeah, no, we all prefer it. talking about random shit. Yeah, so, well, my, my dad made us all, like, a magic mushroom curry one day, me and my two brothers. So we all got in from work, and he made this big, massive pot of curry. Uh, he said, here you go, lads. Did he, did he tell you that this was going yeah, to happen? Yeah, we all right? knew, <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my, <laughs> that would be funny, but... My girlfriend actually went and picked all the mushrooms with him. He was teaching All the Liberty Cups. You are Liberty Cups. I don't know one with like the teeth on the on the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and um, so they picked like well, uh, I think it was over a thousand of them. Stuck them in this curry, and it was dead nice. We had a dead nice night, and then my girlfriend made me go to bed, trapped me in the bedroom, so I lost my head. And my brother had a song, a trance song on repeat downstairs. Oh god! So have you ever <laughs> seen? Can you remember Life on Mars? I've heard of it. Is it, it was a program? Like, yeah, it was a series, of, and the guys like trapped in a coma, and I thought I was trapped in a coma. So I need to, like, because of this great. trance song. And I was like, ah. So I went downstairs and he was playing it off his laptop and I slung the laptop through my dad's living room window. Oh, really? Mm. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, throw some at the TV as well. And then we just told the police that someone put our windows through, so we got a free window. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah they come round and they give you a code and stuff like that. Like who a, get who? The police, we... we Basically, we got my, like a brick from outside and we put it in the in the house. We're like, some guys come and put well, our windows. Wipe all the fingerprints off it. Yeah, like. and basically, they, like, like so if anyone's got like <laughs> dodgy windows, just put it through and say someone's pulled it through and the okay. police will sort it out. And they're like, why is there bits of glass on the outside of the window? <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a weird brick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it must have been a fucking thick as fuck copper. Yeah, or oh, they've came and went... They've done this, but what? <laughs> Another yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. They're all off the tits of mushrooms still. <laughs> was this in North Allerton? <laughs> yeah. There must. There's not much going on there, though, right? Or is uh, there? There's like sheep in that fields. There's. No, <laughs> it depends. On shitty bits. We had a prosy neighbour as well. Oh really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I love a bit of that shit. Like we had. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't. You know, I've never had a go on one or out, but like, uh, I think we had I'm one. Sure I've seen you at my neighbour's house and all. <laughs> oh, <it might> <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, we had some over the road from the shop for a bit, I think. Mm. Like, there was a fucking weird shit going on. And then they got done for selling heroin. And then the guy who was doing that somehow was walking around. So I don't know how oh. that happened. Oh, God. I don't know if it's because he's got, like, them belly tubes. You know, you've got, like, a belly tube going on or whatever. A colostomy bag. But maybe. You poo into it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I think he's got that. So they're probably just like, oh, mate, f- it, you can just be out. The little, the, the that's why he stores the heroin. That's what, do you mean, like, the, <laughs> do you mean, like, the heroin... Like dealers are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, oh, right. Yeah. He's just like, I see, I see him walking around still with his dogs. Like, yeah, nice. Well, at least he's having a nice time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to go to jail, but that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> Didn't you say, like, you heard them say a bit a bit of the brown? Yeah, can I have a bag of brown, mate? And I say, like, <laughs> which one's brown? Like, I know there's green and white, and then what's brown? <laughs> Heroin. <laughs> Heroin? Oh, oh, f- no. Yeah. Oh, well, Golden at least they're only this far away from the shop. Yeah. If you ever want some, I guess. Oh, God. Not that I'd be into having to go on that like. Mm, so what have you been tattooing today? Uh, I've I've started a big uh, chameleon. Uh, have you took a photo of that, by the way? Yeah, yeah, I've okay. took a, like a little video. Okay. If you want to see it now. Or... Yeah, why not? Yeah, mm-hmm. fuck it. Mm. Will like, you do it, it more this tomorrow, to... though? Yeah, I'm finishing it tomorrow. It was about to eat a bug, the chameleon. Um, so. I basically tried to get the foreground done first. And I'll do the background nice. tomorrow and the, the more out of, out of focusy bits. I honestly thought you said Pretty comedian, cool. not chameleon. And I was like, a comedian? And here is a photo of it finished, hopefully. Assuming that that... <laughs> I hate it when I do this shit. I do this on the podcast where I'm like, oh, and then I'll edit this thing in later. Then later on me, it's just like, that guy's a prick. What if I don't finish yet? Well, that's fine. That's why uh, I said hopefully. Oh, so. right, yeah. <laughs> Well he's as far as he got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to short finish if you don't want to. But whatever. It's up to yeah, you. It depends how it turns out. It depends how wrecked I get tonight. Really. So is this your favorite kind of stuff to do? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Color realism. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay. No, I love pocket watches. <laughs> you're not you're all with the pocket watches. Uh, no, I love them. More, more, more you numerals do the better. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't tell if you're joking or not. I think he's not joke. I think he's. Joking, I don't think this a tattoo that exists that likes doing pocket watches. Okay, sorry, mm. sorry, pocket watch guy. <laughs> I know it looks fucking sweet in the gym when you're f-ing curling a 12 out, <laughs> popping that little 12 digit out there, like the X, f-ing whatever it is. Is it 11X one, one or something? X11. One, one. My, my studio is called 116. Is it? Yeah, why is that? Uh, it's amount of, uh, it's amount of uh, people I've slept with. <laughs> Nice. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> it's my boss's motocross number. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that's what I like to tell people. Good story. Like, you know, <laughs> I like that you test this. Yeah. I like yeah, that you like, yeah. say random shit and then like, we're like, huh. I'm just like 100% like, wow, really? <laughs> it's because you're tired though, isn't it? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Sophie's done a, t- a tattoo today. Have you got a photo of that tattoo you've done? Yeah. Pull that a little bit closer, dear. This is, this is why we were talking about mushrooms before. Oh, yeah. That's why we were talking Oh, about. that's why you were talking that, about Yeah, that's how it mm-hmm. came about. It shows your photo. Do you want to critique Sophie's uh, oh, l- live on the podcast? Do I want to what? Check it out? No, I'm, I'm joking. Oh. You can check it out. Yeah. I was saying, do you want to critique it? But then I thought, I s- Sophie said it off. Oh, you know, like, you it can was critique like a, it if scared. you want. I mean, I, I might just do what he did to me and told me that my skateboard was shit. <laughs> okay. Can, that's, that's what she's done to do. Nice. Can you critique it, Sophie? Um, I like the lines. Did she stop you from finishing that? No, well, kind of, but not intentionally. Oh, because she was getting drunk. Well, and she laughing. she was really drunk, and our family were there saying like, "When can we go for cocktails?" Right, and you know that she's coming mm. back to the studio anyway, so it's like. And she, she I said like, because she wants she wanted a portion bottle as well, and I was like, I can't really. And I was thinking like, am I going to be able to do this for her? And especially when our family, our mum and our boyfriend came and was like, "Oh, when you when you're going to be finished? When you're going to be finished?" And I was like. Well, come back to the studio and I'll... F- so you just needed me there to be like... <laughs> yeah, probably. But yeah. Whatever. I did abandon you a little bit on that, didn't I'm I? Still, I don't mind. That's fine. You can do your own thing. But as, as well, I'll just, I'd will just i like to just thicken the lines up at the yeah, studio yeah. when it's comfortable. And that's, like, that's what it needs, that's all. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> so you're doing that thing tomorrow again. How many yeah. conventions have you done then? Oh, loads. loads. Since, yeah, since I started, I've done them. Oh, really, have you? Okay. Yeah. Have you got any more booked this year? I've got York booked. Um, I did the poster for York, so check that out. Oh, did you? Yeah. And, um, well, Bo- we'll just have you got these on your phone, the poster on as well? Uh, yeah, no? I should do. Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, I've done a painting somewhere. Oh, you painted it? I, oh, I, yeah, because you did them paintings, yeah. yeah. So what happened, 
I was walking around looking for people who wanted to get on the podcast. Because loads of people are just like, oh, I don't know, I'm scared about that. And it's like, well, fine, bye. And then I went into his booth and I'm like, this Jurassic Park, this Jurassic Park painting is sweet. And I'm like, I'm not really into the Joker one, though, because I think the Joker's crap. Um, but the painting's all right. It's all right. It's pretty good. It's I, good. I it's like good. your bastard it's son's good. tattoo. Oh, have you got one, like? No, no. I guess well, I've, I've got a slave of him, though. Have Georgia. you really? Which one's that? This one. It's like right. Pirate Shark. and. Oh, I, I knew that. I, th- I saw that. I don't know if I've seen it before somewhere, but I looked at that and I was liking that in the lift. Pirate Shark. Pirate getting drunk. Um, That's cool. This is JJ's work, by the way. Yeah. The guy who we like. He's our number two podcast fan. Right, and now. I keep forgetting who he is. Yeah, well, yeah. I know who he is. Now you know who he is. Shows that like other one? That Pirate Shark one? Pirate Shark? No, no, sorry, the other one under there. Pirate getting drunk. There you go. It's cool. sweet. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. And he's very funny. JJ likes getting drunk, doesn't is, he? Is JJ oh, still? Yeah, yeah actually, yeah. So I've, I've been drunk with JJ at a convention as well. So far. Had is a fight JJ with the one with the big nose? <laughs> big nose? No, I wouldn't say so. I thought you did. He's the, um, what did he call himself? A goblin scribe or something like that. Who's the one you took the piss out of his nose? Jason. Oh, J J J soon. Yeah. yeah you see where I'm... Too many J's. There's too many people in your life I can't keep track. Because I'm f***ing cool as f***, mate. There's the uh, painting. Oh, okay. Oh, so they put like the York I, tattoo. I, I, did a, I sent them like a digital version. I painted it after. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Oh, they've used the digital version? Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. Must have been better than the painting, but yeah. Oh, cool. <sighs> Is that oil? Awkward. <laughs> Is it... I'm going to guess it's acrylics. No, it's oil. Oil, it is mm, oil. Okay. So I was right. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, that was the first time using oil. That was? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So they're just like, hey, will you do this thing for us? And you're like, I don't know, I'm going to learn something at the same time. Exactly. I'm fucking, yeah. I'm bored of being able to do stuff. I want to learn something new. Yeah. Yeah. I do How that. did you find it? Like, paint with oils? It was more like maths and art. Like, oh, God. It was like <laughs> mixing the med- like certain percentage of mediums, like fat over lean and like percentage oh, of mediums with paint and then doing are you like researching it first they're like yeah, yeah, yeah I, okay. I shouldn't have really I should have just done no, that no it depends on how you work like yeah. obviously the results are good aren't they so it's like you must be doing something right yeah yeah uh, when I've done um, <clears throat> oils I've more done have you know do you know Jeff Gorgway yeah yeah Jeff yeah. like uh, showed me some things um, and he gave me his DVD that he made it, the unicycle yeah yeah brand. U- unicycle brand thing. yeah I've actually got one of his paintings in the studio nice but um he uses like, it's a lizard crimson. It's like a see through cool red. There's Prussian blue, which is a see through, like a transparent yeah, uh, yeah. cool blue. And then there's like, a, it's a gambling paint. Like that's them ones for any brand. Yeah. And a gambling brand, um, transparent orange, it's called. Yeah. And them three mixed together, and you can get almost all the colors you want from there. But when you, when you do black, this is what I liked about it. Like uh, Jason Butcher, I was on about earlier on. Yeah. I was painting at his house, <clears throat> and he's like, oh, you, you're using noob black, because I just got black out of the tube, and I'm like, well, there's a pro black, is there? And he's like, yeah, I'm using pro black. I'm like, well, any, I was like, any black's pro when I'm using it, mate. You know, <laughs> yeah, doing that kind nice. of joke and that. And then, like, nice. when I was watching him, he's painting with this black, and I'm like, what the f***? You're actually using pro black? I'm like, tell me how to make pro black? <laughs> and it's like, when you mix those three together, the crack is, because all three are transparent. Yeah. You can get it perfectly black, or you can get it like a reddish black, you can get it a greenish black. But when you mix them perfect, you get this perfect black, and the light bounces through the paint to the canvas and then back out, so your black looks deeper Fucking than it hell. would if it's just out the tube. Because if it's like an opaque black, the light bounces off the top of the paint instead of going through the paint. So that transparent black adds a lot to Fucking it. Hell, right. <clears throat> but nice. also, I, quite, I found it quite fun mixing all the colours instead of just pull, pull yeah, the light things out. out yeah, yeah. yeah. But next time I do some oils, I'm probably going to get like different colours and and play a little bit more with that, knowing that yeah. I can drop back on this. I think it's a good challenge to do like the colour theory, like mix a bit. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, but it's well, fun. The way I the way <laughs> I like darken colours is like through the colour wheel. So like for instance, I'll I'll darken green with red, mm-hmm. or uh, I'll darken orange with blue. You know, like yeah, yeah. You, you dip in those instead mm-hmm. of adding the black. You know, so same with tattooing as well. That's how I'll do it. So. Mm-hmm. Nice. I think that's right. <laughs> it seems to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's good. <clears throat> and also kind of like you mute the colours by going back through there as well. It's like a, essentially a grey in the middle of a colour wheel, really, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Like it kind of starts to mute it. Yeah. Nice. I like that you know that kind of thing. Yeah. It's fun though. Have you done acrylics as well or not? Yeah, yeah. I've done... Yeah. I've Is done. that your main thing? I did a yeah. lot a lot of acrylic painting. 
Yeah, um, so there is things that transfer over in it. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, the yeah. open times a lot nicer on oil though. Yeah, the, I, I find the oil takes a lot longer though. It's a, it's a longer process with with acrylics. If you've got a hair dryer at hand, you can just dry it off quick and carry yeah. on building those layers up. Obviously, oil's a lot, a hell of a lot longer. So, yeah, longer process. Nice. Mm. And you think that like when you've done them oil paintings or any painting, you that transfers into your tattooing. I, I I'd say. Painting does, yeah. 100%. Do you see your tattoo different after doing that? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. How long have you been painting? Is that before tattooing or? Uh, yeah, so I did that at college. I've always painted, but it's like it's, it's hard. Like when you start tattooing, when you through tattooing, you sort of get more into painting. You know, like because you see all you go to conventions, you see these artists, and they're doing all these these awesome paintings. So you start to delve more into it. I find I, I find I find I've I've learned ten times more during tattooing than what I did at college, about yeah, art yeah. in general, yeah. Well, it's weird at college, isn't it? Because you've got like this Shit. teacher who thinks they know everything, trying to yeah. tell you how to do the thing. Yeah. But a lot of the time at conventions, if you if you do them right, I think, mm -hmm. you end up having deep conversations with other artists. Yeah, and it's like yeah. There's always like a, one thing that just goes, like probably yeah. that black thing you just talked about there. Yeah. It's one thing that just clicks and you're just like, ah, oh, right. Yeah, 100%. And you go away inspired, ideally. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people who do conventions where they're trying to just make profit. They're like, if I don't like come away from here with like profit, it's like they're advertising essentially Ugh. and training. If they don't come away with profit, they think like, oh, that was shit. That. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't think I've ever made money at a convention. No. No. I've definitely mostly lost money at conventions. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. But some people won't even go if they're not going to make like two grand or something like that. Uh, fucking hell. I've had friends go to like, one of my friends went to, where was it now? Australia mm -hmm. to do a convention. And he had to buy a watch uh, just so he didn't have too much money to come back to the airport. Jesus. But he was smashing out like um, port rates for a grand in three hours and booking in three a day. Right. <laughs> it's <laughs> so crazy. It's, you know, it's insane. And then he did like a convention that weekend, traveled a convention that weekend and then again. So it's like he spent like eight grand on a watch just to bring it down under the... The amount you're allowed to fly with. That's cool. Jesus it's man. cool, isn't it? Like yeah, what yeah. a cool job Baller. to be able to do that. Yeah. yeah. Because some people would like save up for their whole life to go to Australia for a week once, where he goes there and f***ing comes back with too much money. Like, <laughs> what the f*** <laughs> hell kills that? Yeah. <laughs> very good though, very good tattoos. Mm. As well. I'll not say his name because I'm talking about his money and I don't think that's like good to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to yeah. mix them together. Rich tattooists. But an awesome tattooists as well. And some people I've noticed at conventions um, or that I know about have competitions to see who can make the most money. Oh, well. I've never heard of that. I, I think it's a little bit shallow, personally. Mm. I'd prefer to do the best work, but, you know, they're very, very popular tattooists as well. Though. Well, you'd probably find that the peop the person, like, knocking out all these tattoos, making the most money, is probably brushing the tattoos more, do you think? I don't know. <clears throat> you would think so, but, like, his tattoos, like, he's fast anyway. Right, okay. Because yeah. I think that's, like, one of, the, one of the things. But, I don't know, I think the competition thing starts making them be, like... Because they're like these rock stars and they're going to these places and people are like, oh, I want to get tattooed by the rock star yeah, guy. Yeah. And they're going, two grand. And people are just like, yes. And they're like, really? I know, okay. Fucking two and a half grand. And people are like, yeah. And then they go home and they go, Fuck, it was expensive, but like I got tattooed by the guy. And it's like, wow, wow. I don't think they like have a competition and say it can make the most money. It's healthy though. No. Personally. No. But you know, I'm not judging them. It's like they're, uh, you got to respect the hustle, I guess. Is, is this, you know? Who do you think is at fault? Is like, is it the person paying or the artist charging? Well, I don't, I, I think if the person says yes to the price, it's fair. You is can it? put a stupid price on something and if someone goes, okay, no one's at fault. Mm. Are they really? It's I would a deal, say. isn't done deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you can't I, really complain about it afterwards unless you get screwed over by something. I mean, a lot of clients now, like, well, I, I, I meet a lot of people and they, instead of talking about the tattoos they've got, they'll instantly talk about how much w tattoos worth they've got. Mm. You know, so God, they'll say, oh, right. I've got a sleeve that's worth fucking, I don't know. I think with ball, may, right, maybe right. there's even like, I can see some kind of like, universal joke there where it's like if they want to brag about it here mate i'll fucking charge 20 grand for it then yeah <laughs> if you don't want to brag if that's yeah. what you want if you want some good art i'll like charge what the price yeah. is but yeah nice so my dad wants to know this is the dad round okay nice <laughs> what's your favorite cheese i don't like cheese i knew this would happen Fuck sake I'll, I'll eat well, let's, just let's just delete this one let's just delete this one no this guy doesn't get it 
<laughs> don't like oh, cheese. Oh, I dick cheese. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. What are you doing after this? Uh, I'm going to go to that after party, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where's it at, the Alchemist? No, that was last night. Right, um, okay. It's at Lane 7 tonight, so. All right, okay. Yeah. What was that, um, what did that woman call the botanist earlier on? Oh. Bonatinist or Bonat- something. Bonat. I said, I said Bontin- she, Bontinist. The Bontinist, yeah. She Bontinist. said she should go to the Bontinist. It's called the Bontinist. And I'm like, I'm going to call it that forever now. Yeah. The no. Bontinist. I right, said okay. Botanist like three times, but I was, it was kind of like, oh, the Botanist. Yeah, she was kind of yeah, talking to you, so like, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't hate and kept calling it the Bontinist. Cool. Anything you want to say before we go? Oh, no, my dad wanted you to critique his tattoo if you want to do that. Oh, yeah, go on then. This is his first tattoo. Okay. Oh, it's not on that leg. That one there. This was his idea. I was on the phone last night. Yeah. So I know it's, you know, it's whatever, but critique it as if it was a legit critique that someone was like really proud of or whatever. Okay. Um, cool. I think the the colour packing in the roof's pretty solid. Is it his first one? That's his first one. Yeah, yeah, fair play. Um, the lines are pretty good. Obviously, there's a little bit of a curve in that bottom left hand corner. No, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's Shit lines up. noted. <laughs> Um, better than my first tattoo. Is it really? Yeah. What's your first one? Have you got I, it? I um, no, it's on my dad. Oh, is it really? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, no way. We were at home. <clears throat> I shouldn't really say that. Um, and he was sat next to me there, and he had his arm up, and I did a heart on his arm with an arrow through. Okay. Which I thought was bang on, and then he stood up and then put his arm down. And it was the wrong way. All oh, right. Okay. So I just wrote oops underneath it to like a sideways <laughs> like heart and. Yeah, I can send you a picture. If yeah, you want. they do yeah. that definitely. Yeah. yeah, this is my first one. Uh, that star. Yeah, is it better than the one you got? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so nice. the point of though, the point of that was when I got them ones done on me clavicles because I wanted to be like the f- crazy town guy. <laughs> so embarrassing that that was why. Whatever, whatever. Um, one of the legs was wonky. Mm-hmm. Like one of them was shorter than the rest. And I'm like, what the f-? Like I'm not even. I've never done this, and I, I would definitely make the legs the same length. And there we go. Did make the legs the same nice. length. So it's neat. Yeah, neat. it's not bad, is it? That yeah, it's good. I had to touch a little bit up on the end of that, like you know, a couple of weeks after, but yeah. not bad. And it's you know, I've definitely went around it with stuff, so you can't see it as well. But not a bad tattoo for the first one. Have you seen that one? I mean, you've seen it. That one there, my first go. Oh, yeah. There are some one. straight lines for a f-ing noob. Aren't That's they? some straight lines. That's yeah. why I'm the master, bro. I know. When you, I think it was that one, the Candy School one. The Candy well, School one. Candy School Jack's Club. And he's like, oh, yeah, I just did that myself. Like, you thought the fourth go. I was like, oh, really? I did it like, yeah, like the fourth tattoo I did was that <laughs> Jack Skeleton head, right? Yeah. But I didn't do all that crap all over, right? <laughs> then a couple of days later, because I was, I loved it when I first started. I was sat in the toilet of Caterpillar and I just started drawing all over this with a pen that I'd found on the floor. <laughs> and I'm like, F- it. when I get home, I'm tying that on. Yeah, nice. So I man. did. Because, yeah. yeah, I did it from home because all the f- pros do that. Yeah, that's how everyone starts, really. Mm. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. That is us now done. Goodbye, everybody. Right. Bye. Say bye. bye.